Hi, it's Ryan Lasan, Advanced Accelerator Coach, CEO of Inspire Brand Consulting, and founder of Finesse School, where I have created transformational coaching and professional development programs for high-achieving women specializing in the unique needs of high-achieving Black women who want to advance their professional dreams, but feel stuck, feel overwhelmed, trapped by second-guessing, self-doubt, and really are lacking a plan as to how to get out of their own way and take action on their professional dreams. There are three essential tools that I coach my clients to master, and I want to share them with you today because if you, too, are a high achiever and you want to advance but you feel stuck, these are three essential tools that you must, must have mastery over if you want to advance. One is to close your confidence gap. Two, it is to identify your personal brand. And number three is to practice living your brilliance. In today's very short video, I want to share with you the essential tool number one, closing your confidence gap. And when I talk about a confidence gap, what I'm referring to is the distance between you believing you can't do something and believing that you can. That distance, based on any goal that you have, the distance between I can't do it and I can do it is your confidence gap. Now, that gap, depending on who you are, what your goal is, and where you are in relationship with it, that gap can be this big, or that confidence gap can be a chasm. Either way, if you believe that you cannot, you won't. If you believe you can, you most likely will. So this confidence gap is critical and it must be closed if you want to advance your professional dreams. In my practice, I see three confidence killers over and over and over again. And I wanna share what those confidence killer mindsets are so that you can be on the lookout look out and see if one of these three or more are in fact the root cause of your confidence gap. They are number one, imposterism. This is the fear-based belief, the false evidence that appears real that says to a person in their mind, Oh no, everyone is going to find out that I am a fraud, that I am actually not meant to be in this role with these responsibilities. They think I'm so smart. They think I'm confident. If they only knew what I felt inside, which is that somehow my application was put in the wrong pile and I somehow landed here and I really don't know what I'm doing, regardless of the fact that I've got all the credentials, I've got tons of experience, I know that I am an imposter and that someone's gonna call me out and my worst fear is that one day someone is gonna call me out, so I've got to duck and hide within myself, I've gotta play small and I have to work twice as hard so that no one ever catches on to the fact that I am not supposed to be here. Now imagine what it must feel like to live as a person who has this confidence gap. Always shrinking, always deflecting compliments, always feeling like at any moment their cover is going to be blown. It's a scary world living this way. Let me tell you about confidence killer number two, which is perfectionism. And this person lives under the fear-based belief, the false evidence appearing real, 
that unless their idea, unless they themselves, unless their product that they produce is perfect, it's complete, it is tightly woven, everything is correct, everything is right, everything is exact, unless it meets this incredibly impossible standard of perfect, that person is going to wait. That person is going to hold back. That person is going to um, continue to get ready to get ready. And they have a very, very, very difficult time taking action because they continue to chip away at a particular project or a particular goal versus being in flow of that goal or that purpose and taking action on it. They are constantly getting ready to get ready because it's not perfect enough yet. This person has a very, very, very difficult time taking feedback in because it feels so incredibly perfect. It feels so incredibly personal because someone is seeing them as imperfect. Really, really, really sticky, sticky quicksand here. So imagine what it must be like to live as this person who is constantly feeling like they are underproducing, that they're never meeting the bar, that they are never enough to, quite frankly, really be themselves. Then there's this third confidence killer that I see all the time in my practice. And this is one that high achieving women can really fall into, which is a term that I have coined called distractionism. And that is the mindset, which is also fear-based, that false evidence appearing real, that says, I'm going to focus on all of these very important roles and tasks and responsibilities in my life versus sitting with myself and really grappling with the question, what do I want to do with my life? Where do I see myself being? What is my vision? And how am I going to, and how am I going to go after it? So the distraction is these very important roles and responsibilities. They can be anything from a job title to a family responsibility. But the idea here is that this person gets very lost in the doing of other things for other people or other organizations and is afraid to stop and pause and say, I'm going to let some of this go so that I can actually focus on myself and focus on my own passions, focus on my own professional dreams. So they're constantly bombarding themselves with a long to-do list of very important things and oftentimes some very high-level exciting things, but they're not the things that really speak to this person's purpose and to their passion point, let alone their professional dreams. So these three confidence killers I see over and over and over again as being quicksand traps for the clients that I work with. If you feel like you might be stuck in your confidence gap and are wondering which persona or which confidence killer is keeping you trapped, I have created a free and very short quiz that you can take that's going to give you three things. One, it's going to give you your free results report. So you're going to get a seven, eight page report all about your confidence killer. It's going to give you information about what that mindset looks like, what it means for you, and what you can do to begin to unweave yourself from that very tightly knit, very uncomfortable ball of discomfort. The second thing that you're going to get is you're going to get a free 
call with me if you choose to take advantage of this gift where we will go over your results together and we'll talk about your dreams. I will support you get clarity on what your dreams are and to support you in thinking about what are the next action steps that you can take to close your confidence gap, to identify your personal brand, and to begin to practice living your brilliance in an everyday, every way kind of experience for yourself. The third piece that you'll get once you take this free short quiz is you will get a video overview of all that I just shared with you around what your confidence killer is and how to take these next steps to get connected with me for this free discovery call where you're able to unpack what's going on, get expert advice, all for free. You can find this at my website, which is www.inspirebrandconsulting.com. Again, that's www.inspirebrandconsulting.com. And you can take this quiz called the What's Your Number One Confidence Killer Quiz. It's free, it's short, and you'll get lots of goodies just by taking it. The first key to change is self-awareness. It's curative. Once you know what's the root cause of your confidence gap, you then have the option and the possibility of making change. I am here to cheer you on, to champion you, and to keep you inspired. Bye for now.